I hear you're looking for a few good monks. <laughs> I've decided to run away to a place where peace and tranquility allow for the contemplation of life's vicissitudes. Oh, Willie, I couldn't find him anywhere. Well, where could a three-foot hairy alien go and not be conspicuous? <laughs> Steven Spielberg's house. <laughs> Any sign of him, Bry? No, but my Friar Tuck costume's gone. Mm. Maybe you went to Sherwood Forest. No, Bry. Sherwood Forest is in England. Alf only took enough food to get to Canada. <laughs> Why do you run away? Oh, it's hard to explain, Bry. You'll understand when you're older. How old? Well, older than me. I'm still trying to figure it out. <laughs> well, nothing. Where could he have gone? Some place where peace and tranquility allow for the contemplation of life's vicissitudes. That sounds familiar. Well, that's what he said on the tape. No, no, uh, besides that. Wait a minute, Alf wanted me to send my allowance to a bunch of monks. <laughs> Listen to this. Peace and tranquility, life's vicissitudes. It's from the Brothers of the Peaceful Dominion. That's it. He's joined a monastery. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Where's the little monk's room? I have to take a vicissitude. <laughs> well, I guess I can wait. Are you here because of a painful secret from your past like I am? Or are you just one of those guys who likes wearing a dress? <laughs> right. We're a silent order. We don't speak. Ixnay on the eking spay. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Joke time, all right? This one will knock you on your cassocks. What happened when the heater went off in the convent? They had a bunch of blue nuns. Ah, 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 blue nuns. Get it? Ah. Tough room. <laughs> Hey, why don't you let the hunchback answer it? <laughs> oh, excuse me. I, I'm sorry to disturb your peaceful dominion, but uh, I'm looking for a friend of mine. He's a rather short, hairy fellow. Has anyone joined your flock recently? I mean, like, say, since breakfast? Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. I, uh, should I be wearing a hat? No, no, I'm fine. Here's a real gut buster. How does the friar open the door to the abbey? With a monkey. Ah! Ah! Get it? Monkey. What's the problem? This stuff going over your halos? Elf. Willie, how, how did you find me? One of the monks talked, didn't he? <laughs> Never mind that. Alf, how did you get here? Thumbnail Express. <laughs> you hitchhiked? Yeah, easiest ride I ever got. Who's going to drive by and leave a monk sucking his exhaust pipe? <laughs> Alf, your manners. Absolutely right. Where are they? Uh, Willie Tanner, this is Ed the Monk. Ed the Monk, Willie Tanner. Willie, Ed. Ed, Willie. I don't know who the other guy is. I think it's Cat Stevens. <laughs> Alf, what if they figure out you're an alien? Who are they going to tell? 
Isn't there uh, some place we could go to talk? It's really rather difficult to discuss certain details, certain This personal... is my home now, Willie. These brothers are like sisters to me. Let it fly. <laughs> All right. Uh, I did a lot of thinking on the drive up here, and uh, I've never told another living soul what I'm about to tell you. And you. <laughs> and you. And of course you. <laughs> um, I know you're not exactly crazy about my stories, but I think you'll find this one poignant and not without a certain relevance. Brace yourself, boys. The sermon's coming early this week. <laughs> when I was growing up, I thought my mother was the most beautiful woman that ever lived. I, I guess every boy feels that way about his mom, but, you know, I wasn't the only one who thought that about my mother. Look here. Look, look. Huh? Who's the goofy-looking kid? That's me. <laughs> the years have been kind to you, Willie. Very kind. May I continue with my story? Please. And put that away. <laughs> Well, uh, one night, uh, I don't know, I must have been about six or so, I was, I was walking by my mother's room, and I looked in, I saw her sitting at her dressing table. I saw her reach up and take off her hair. I was just, I was destroyed. You know, I mean, not, not, not because she wore a wig. I, I didn't mind that. It was because she didn't tell me. And this brings me to the meaningful part now. And not a moment too soon. It's almost time for Vespers. I hope that means cookies. Alf, I'm trying to explain why your parents didn't tell you they were married before you were born. Oh, continue, my child. I think that they didn't, they didn't want their son to think that they were any thing less than perfect. That, that's the way parents are. I, I know, I, I feel that way about Brian and Lynn. And, and someday, when, when you have kids of your own, you'll, you'll feel uh, the uh, same. Uh, uh, uh. I won't be having kids. Monks give up more than talking, you know. Right, Eddie? <laughs> Is it me, or are those guys a bunch of stiffs? <laughs> Look, Willie, I'm a convertible. Face it, Alf. You're not monk material. Well, yes, I am. They showed me the list of qualifications. Sloth, greed, gluttony. Those are the seven deadly sins. I thought the seven deadly sins were those guys who lived in the forest with Snow White. Those are the seven dwarfs. We prefer the term little people. Come on home, Alf. We miss you. Nobody cares about your past. Well, gee, I don't know. Tonight's my turn to bang the dinner gong. Alf. Okay, you got a deal. You came all this way to get me. If you want me back so badly, you deserve me. Well, thanks, Alf. Well, just give me a second to say goodbye to the bros, okay? <laughs> Yo, I'm leaving. <laughs> I thought this was a silent order. 